Reforestation Nation, ladies and gents. I'm your host, Alex Markovides, and today we are near the headquarters of Tesla, SpaceX, and Ampere. Ampere is a name that's going to become a household name because they are electrifying the air. They're decarbonizing the atmosphere. And we are with none other than the CTO and co-founder of Ampere, Corey Combs. Corey, thank you for your time. Well, thank you so much for coming here. It's just really an amazing place to be at the epicenter of innovation mm. in aerospace and electric vehicles. And we're kind of the combination of the two. We're taking the great technology that you see in things like Tesla's right. and putting it in planes and making planes electric, which is really something that's an amazing step. When, when we talk about clean air travel and we talk about decarbonization, what are the current challenges and how is Ampere addressing them? Yeah, so one of the big challenges is really the uh, the cost and time to market. We, we don't want to wait. And so we're starting mm. by taking these existing planes and retrofitting them to make them electric. And that enables us to get in the air early mm. at a much lower risk and cost than doing an entirely new plane. And also allows us to scale to all the different plane types that people already own. So we'll be able to scale to all different planes oh. in the five to 19 passenger category wow. through a retrofit approach. And so then you could just partner with other airlines, other people, whether it's individuals or companies, to retrofit their fleets. Absolutely. And so we're basically um, avoiding even the emissions of producing a new plane. That's cheap. Oh, right. It's yeah, yeah. These existing assets. Right. It's right. kind of almost like a reuse, uh, recycle uh, oh, yeah. aspect there. We're taking out these dirty, leaded fuel burning engines yeah. and replacing them with uh, our system. So Corey, what are the benefits of hybrid and electric power planes that people might not know about? So most people don't know just how much emissions there are coming from aviation. There's 800 million tons a year of CO2 from aviation. It's a really big source of uh, global warming pollution and also local pollution. You're seeing a lot of emissions of particulates and nitrous oxides, all sorts of things that are causing yeah. smog and ozone in cities. So we're eliminating a large portion of that pollution by using green power mm. to fuel planes. And we're actually able to drop emissions for pure electric plane up to 90%. What do we need to know about the insidious nature of lead? Yeah, so most people don't know that small aircraft still use leaded fuel. Uh, it's been phased out in cars for a long time, yeah. but it's very expensive and also very polluting. Um, two grams of lead a gallon. So by reducing- Two grams uh, a gallon, that yeah, much? Yeah, two grams a gallon. It's, it's really a significant contributor to, uh, to wow. lead pollution. It's the biggest source of environmental lead pollution in the United States is uh, small aircraft. And so small aircraft almost exclusively use leaded gas. So we are by electrifying planes, reducing the amount of lead in our environment as well. Um, so it's really noise, lead mm. pollution, um, looking at just general, uh, general um, local pollution yeah. and global pollution are all being reduced by electrifying aviation. You're the first electric powered airliner that's actually in the air. You're not doing, you know, you did your rapid prototyping, you're retrofitting, you're getting out there, you're leading the industry. What does the future of Ampere look like? So we're already hard at work on our second flight demonstrator that you actually see being modified right next to us right here. Amazing. Um, this plane is going to be the first electric plane ever to fly on an actual commercial route in partnership with Elemental Accelerator and Mocha Lele Airlines. Elon Musk was talking about how it's probably going to be very unlikely that we're going to go the rocket route. You're going to have some sort of propeller-based transportation system that can replace modern tra air travel because of the sound pollution. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, right now we're hearing all the sound pollution, you know. Yeah, so we definitely are going to be reducing sound pollution. Yeah. And we're also going to be improving accessibility to these small communities. We can't get rid of aircraft. We right. need them for accessibility to small communities. So how do we keep aviation but make it more sustainable? Right. That's our goal. It's amazing. Corey, thank you so much for your well, time. Thank you so much for having me. So today we spoke with a modern day Wright brother, someone pursuing the third revolution in aviation. Tomorrow, who knows what we can have? How are you gonna help us reach the triple bottom line? We can do this. From Ampere to SpaceX to Tesla, this is our green revolution. This is our future. This is the Reforestation Nation. And as always, subscribe to stay alive. Thanks for watching Reforestation Nation, where we interview impact leaders about how we can scientifically thrive with nature. And as always, subscribe to stay alive by clicking here and watch more content with us right here. Please click and subscribe. This is Martin from Seven Generation. If there's any green guru, it's him. If he's doing it, I would do it too.
click and subscribe. To stay alive. We'll you think see they're you really going to do that? I hope so. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, Martin. Thank you, sir. Pleasure, Alex.